in uh, step 6 now so uh, step 6 so if you go to the word document now we have created the boot screen now download the windows 10 iso at the link and uh, go follow the normal process now we need to go to the disk part option now we need to create like uh, see uh, we had an unallocated space of 18 GB right so we had created only two EHD4 partitions now we need to create partitions for the Windows Phone operating systems okay so basically you need to select uh, uh, you need to go to this part select the disk that shows okay let me just go here so D I S K E R T then it says uh, L I S T leave the disk so disk uh, our says the disk one select minus disk one if you see that uh, 29 gb that is mine select disk one okay uh, then I'll, okay then you so i have put it in my notepads for my easy reference so i'm going to use this okay now let me just go back to the word document if it is confusing you guys Okay, so first I'm gonna create a EFI partition. Okay, now create a EFI partition, then enter yes, then 400 MB. Then I'm gonna uh, format as FS FAT32 and label it as so, sorry, system. I'm gonna copy this. Press it back. Okay. Yes. Done. Then I'm gonna label it as. I'm gonna do it as uh, G or uh, uh, P. I'm gonna name it. No, I'm gonna name it as S only here. Let let us just name it as S. So. okay now it has assigned the letter there now we are gonna uh, go to the step of uh, create partition uh, the top one also is needed you can create it that reserved one i am gonna create only this then i go back so here what we are gonna do is uh, uh, here we are going to create a windows remaining space will be uh, uh, saved to a windows uh, operating system so i'm going to go back put as this i'm going to create primary partition and then i'm going to name it as win underscore emmc whatever name you okay, know this is created okay now i'm going to assign a letter for this i'm going to assign a w letter yes oh sorry uh, go back yeah i'm gonna copy this paste it here SNL letter done so this is open now your yes drive is also here close and close okay this is done now going back your word document yeah now is the main Thing. you need to apply your image okay first thing what we need to do is we need to go to the iso where you have downloaded okay my iso is in this this so what i do is i just right click and i click uh, this is for windows 10 windows 10 you can mount it easily uh, windows 7 and others i think you need to check for the tool to mount the iso with your downloaded here i have downloaded the iso i am going to click and write when I did that, I got my uh, uh, ISO in the L drive. If you see, this is the ISO which is showing in the L drive. For me, for me, it is showing L drive. You'll be, for you, it will be showing in a different drive. Okay, so I'm gonna use this particular command. See, if you say apply image, my L drive. This is the L drive. This is the L drive. I'm applying it to my W drive. That is the Windows. It is there in the Word document, so you can put it there. And I'm gonna paste it here. Okay, sorry, one second. So basically, before you do that, you need to exit the disk part. 
okay uh, i have installed uh, dsm tool so deployment tool that is the one where that is the one which uses for uh, uh, copying the this so okay i'm going to see the windows supply image dsm okay see so as i told you l is my place where iso was mounted and w is my windows uh, phone that uh, the space which we created for uh, a windows 10 operating system i click enter so this will take a few minutes time and it will copy the windows files to the system if you see my screen um, it is saying applying image uh, one person so this uh, might take uh, more than 20 25 minutes so be patient i mean be cool uh, relax till it does uh, i will get back to you and i think we are in steps is steps it's right uh, steps it's i think i will create a part 2 video okay so i will see you there shortly thanks